What's up you guys, Brian here. I'm back after about a week of not working on the business or on YouTube. Uh, I was just feeling a little burnt out. I was working on my business every day. I scaled it up pretty quickly and I just got to a point where I just felt like I needed a break. This actually happened when my wife and I went camping. Just thinking about it, I just, I just felt so burnt out. So I took about a week off. I'm back now. You know, when you work a full-time job, you work 40 hours or 45 or whatever it is and then you come home and you can watch TV or you know do whatever hobby you like to do spend time with your kids or whatever and uh, you have that time when you get home uh, you know I didn't have that for a long time I was working full-time and then come home working on my business um, and then you have weekends off and all that I realized that I just hadn't really taken any time off I pretty much work um, on the business you know, seven days a week, um, anytime, even when I'm enjoying something, I'm still thinking like, oh, I could be working on my business right now. I feel like that's just the mindset shift from going from an employee to uh, an entrepreneur or, or a, you know, building your own business is you have to change that mindset of, okay, you need to have work hours. You need to do <laughs> things outside of work where you're not thinking about work. And I wasn't really doing that. So um, yeah, took about a week off, uh, and it feels good. It feels really good. I focused a lot on my health and fitness, uh, both physical and mental health. Um, I'm someone who operates really well when I'm uh, constantly exerting myself uh, physically, and I wasn't really doing that, you know, ever since the uh, quarantine. The gyms were closed, and it was, I live in Arizona, so it was 110 degrees out, all quarantine. So, uh, well, the start of the quarantine was really nice and then it started to heat up. Um, so I was, I was going outside a lot at the beginning, um, taking walks and whatnot, but yeah, so started working out heavily again. Um, I feel a lot better. Um, you know, going to the gym humbles you, you know, uh, makes me feel really good. So, um, I'm back at it and I'm excited. You know, I, I just feel like everything kept kind of crum crumbled down at once I had like three videos that were uh, ready to be made I had the videos um, filmed I had them uploaded into the editor and I just didn't edit it yet so I had like a bunch of videos ready this start this place started to look crazy it was a mess it still kind of is a mess but it's a little better I kind of prepped all the items and got everything in order and yeah I just had a lot of life, life stuff to do everything everything just kind of came crashing down at once I was like I just need a week off from the business and I, I feel great. Here's the video that I made about a week ago and at the end I actually pick up um, my best item at the very right end so make sure to check that out. Um, it's not clothing or shoes, it's electronics and usually when I pick up something outside of my, my niche usually it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good item. That was a store that I went to when I came home from camping. On the drive home, I was at the camping was about a four hour drive, so on the way home, I stopped by um, just one thrift store and picked up that item and came home. So please enjoy the video. All right, three things sold today. Um, this one right here is in Bin U. Uh, what is it? Uh, Columbia PFG blue XL shirt under Bin you where is that over here oh uh, let's see I believe that is it that's a ringo yeah so it's this one right here all right so that's the first item next one is in bin s it's an l bean uh wrinkle free shirt Oh, this one right here. Um, let's see, the Columbia PFG sold for $26.72. Um, I'm paying shipping. This one sold for uh, $31.97, and the buyer paid like $10.50 in shipping. I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I listed it at $32 thinking I was going to ship it out for free, and I guess I just never checked the box. You know, when you're listing quickly, sometimes you don't, um, you know, you make little mistakes like that. And yeah, so I actually ended up getting um, about $42 for the shirt instead of the $32, um, which is nice. So a <laughs> little mistake there. That actually happened to me yesterday, too. I sold a Nike ASG um, shirt for like 26 bucks and I ended up getting like six bucks in shipping on accident. So 
Um, yeah, sometimes we make those little mistakes and end up profiting on it. So, um, all right, one more. We got Ben V, a Gitman Bros shirt. Uh, v over here. This was my newest bin. I just listed this shirt, I think, yesterday or the day before. Um, it is a um, band collar shirt. And yeah, sold for $29.20. So how I ship these out, right here, these are my clear poly bags, but right under it, I have these right here. I just throw this in here. weighs 12 ounces so I'm going to click L bean all right 12 ounces dimensions um, it's gonna come out to four dollars and 32 cents to ship uh, for first class packaging so that's how I ship things out. I got two more to ship out. I got to hurry out of here. Um, so I'm not going to ship, you know, show you guys the next two. But yeah, I got to ship these out. Um, and then I got some errands to run and then I'll probably go sourcing today. So, yeah. This is a pair of Donald J. Pliner boots. I'll probably list these for about $70 uh, with best offer on. This is a pair of dance goes that unfortunately was just too damaged. I'm not gonna chance um, cleaning that off and trying to profit on it. It's just too much work. This is a pair of born shoes. I'll probably list these for about $32 or $30. You have to keep in mind that these shoes will are probably under a pound, so I'll be able to ship them first class for about $5. J. Jill is a pretty good brand. This is some, these are some floral shoes. I'll probably list these for about $30. They're in really good condition. I don't know if they were actually ever worn. This is a pair of Magnani shoes. I don't know if I say that right, but I've picked up this brand before. I'll probably list these for about $80 uh, with best or off, offer on. Um, they're not in the greatest of shape, but I will take the time to really shine these up and make them look good. Found a pair of Tevas. Probably list these for about $50. They sell pretty quickly for me. That was a great brand. This is a Mountain Hardware shirt. It won't sell for too much money, uh, but it won't take too long to list, and I'll profit a good probably 10 easy dollars on it. Goose Street's a brand that I pick up quite often for about, I sell for about $22 to $26 usually. Um, I find a lot of them, and they sell pretty quickly. I pick up only the big sizes and the good colors. Uh, vintage Wrangler shirt, make sure it's pearl snap. Um, this should sell pretty easily for me uh, for about 25 bucks. Uh, Prana is a hiking brand, it does pretty well for me. Um, and it is, they sell it at like REI, um, and yeah, it's a great brand to pick up. Should be able to sell for like $30, $32. This is REI, their own brand. I found two of them. If it was just one, I don't know if I would have picked it up, but since there's two, um, I thought I'd lot them together, um, and they should sell pretty well for me. David Don, who's a great brand. This is actually my size. I almost kept it, but I have a shirt on just like it. I should be able to sell for about $35, $40. It is in great condition. I don't think it was ever worn. Um, there's its French cuff there. This is a George Roth shirt. These seem to go for a lot of money, but I realized that it will probably take a long time to sell. So maybe this wasn't the best pickup. Pacific Legend is a uh, just a vintage uh, Hawaiian shirt. Vintage Hawaiian shirts do very well for me. It's got planes on it. Should sell pretty quickly for me for $25 to $30. It's 
I've never sold this brand before. MBT it looks like I'll be able to get about roughly 50 bucks for him. Um, and the sell three eight looks pretty good, so that'll be a new brand for me. Another pair of Donald J. Pliner uh, heels. I found a lot of this brand today. I ended up only picking this one and the boots up. Another pair of Tevas should be about another 50, 40 to 50 dollars. <laughs> this might go on my YouTubes. No. <laughs> Camping spot. So, as you can see, the best find was at the very end there. It looks like I should be able to sell that. Uh, that DVD, uh, DVD and VCR combo for about 140. It did have some scratches on it and whatnot. And if I had the remote, I'd be able to sell it for a lot more. Um, obviously, if the condition was better, um, it, I'd be able to sell a lot more. But I tried it on in the store and it worked and everything. So that should be a great sale. And that is the end of this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and have a good day.